Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well just a big announcement or not a big announcement a quick announcement as I get questions from time to time about you know is Windows 10 21 H2 a um, update that's going to happen or not and some people doubt that it's going to happen but we know it is going to happen we already had one test going to the insiders that was being uh, right now tested and um, well insiders got another one today so what do we know about 21h2 is that it's going to arrive somewhere this fall probably october maybe november it is something that is happening no it's not bringing new icons or anything that looks like windows 11. a lot of people are you know would like to see um, sun valley updates and stuff like that in windows 10 although there will be a probably some little things here and there it's never going to be or look like windows 11 um sun valley and and the fluent design that goes with it also will all be kept for windows 11 for um the uh, design and for the the user interface feel and look but 21 h2 will have a few little things we talked about you know there was probably nothing much uh, one of them that is going to be good for Wi-Fi users is the uh, adding of WPA3 H2E standards, which supports enhanced security. If you're using Wi-Fi, WPA3 H2E is a standard that increases the amount of security and encryption when you're connected to a, a Wi-Fi network. So that's the good thing. Windows Hello for Business will be in uh, some of the versions also where... It's going to simplify passwordless um, features. Uh, more and more, you will see this in Windows 10, where you can actually get into apps, get into your accounts, different accounts, without having to enter a password. It's all going to be using the Windows Hello standard, which uh, Windows Hello is uh, more of a option or a feature that is um, trying to as much as possible remove passwords and have you going through uh, either with you know uh, fingerprints or uh, pin or you know something easier that you don't have to remember everything and uh, one of the things that a lot of uh, developers are waiting for um, there's going to be GPU compute support so what does that mean when you use Windows subsystem for Linux one of the things that um, you know a lot of developers like is the fact that you are able to use your graphics processor as a processor that will compute or help uh, you know give more power to any of your apps uh, some apps or some uh, of the things that you might do require you know much more computing power well they use basically the graphics processor as kind of a cpu that can actually increase the amount of calculations so of course increase the power of these apps and make things faster uh, so gpu compute support coming for windows subsystem for linux that we also know for the average user of course there's not really that much and once again windows 10 21 h2 is going to be a small cumulative update and it's simply going to bump up that bill number from 19043 that we have in uh, right now in the may 2021 update and push it to 19044 simply. Once again, it's gonna be a very small package. So that's what we know right now of what is uh, about to um, happen in 21H2 for Windows 10 this fall, uh, some of the new features. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.